I do not recommend anyone contact these people. The community coordinator for Crystal Dynamics personally direct messaged a 200 follower troll account to tell them verbatim that, quote, tweeting that video opened up our community team, in particular Megan, to a ton of hate messages. The video in question to the community is that we won't have random loot boxes or pay to win scenarios. Crystal Dynamics claiming microtransactions would not be pay to win, not to mention the other times they verbatim said microtransactions would be cosmetic or aesthetic only. This is now a lie as paid XP boosters and resource boosters have finally been implemented after Crystal Dynamics deliberately made getting XP more grindy, remember that? And Crystal Dynamics officially remains silent, canceled their dev stream, and hasn't tweeted about microtransactions in three entire days. But the community coordinator found the time to address a troll account who, to he him, must be the butterfly that caused this tsunami, not the lie that you told when you were literally pitching your game to potential buyers. No pay to win, please clap, only cosmetic, just kidding nerds, got your money. So I guess loot boxes are probably on the table too, the sky's the fucking limit now. When people buy your buggy game and it plays like this, over a year after it came out, this is the current build by the way, we're inclined to share videos of your buggy game to potentially warn other consumers off of this product. You don't get to decide that that's hate. Posting a video of a representative of Crystal Dynamics telling a lie to trick people into buying your buggy game is not targeted harassment. And if you're so triggered by people highlighting your studio's hypocrisy, quit. This isn't for you. This isn't the first time that someone has reached out to this 200 follower troll account either, which is kind of unbelievable considering how little you engage with the community outside of the hog box that you ban everybody from on Discord. The tactic that you've rolled out more than once loses its effectiveness even on the people who have your crotch in their face. The irony of you claiming harassment as you verbatim attribute all hate to some shit-posting meme account, you were so triggered that you messaged them instead of blocking them? You came to them, and they put you in your place. This is what y'all employ, Crystal Dynamics? This is what y'all hope just rolls over the same way that you hope the bad optics from you exposing people's IP addresses in-game would? In fact, people had to beg you to tell players that their personal information was exposed. That's how little of a shit that you gave, worried more about the money that you could potentially be losing than being decent. And now you're daring to tell people, personally, one-on-one, -on -one, to consider the human being for posting a public video. You're not a clown, Crystal Dynamics representative. You're the circus. Told your Discord real fast, but didn't want to look bad facing the public, so you're just held off on Twitter. Which of course made you look worse. Your lack of accountability is, and will be, what continues to shackle your game from progress. Just in case you needed someone intelligent to let you know. You say verbatim that a 200 follower serial memer impedes your studio's ability to make the game better? Wrong. We've been documenting the bugs that you constantly claim are fixed since launch. Many of them have survived for over a year. You'll find silencing consumers like me as impossible, as Crystal Dynamics actually accepting responsibility for their habitual disasters because of poor leadership, lack of intelligent direction, dishonesty, and abysmal communication. Four days and counting without an official statement, by the way, but you reaching out to, uh, god damn. You tried banning, removing, and silencing, and look where it got you. You couldn't even showcase Marvel's Avengers without a bug seizing up your whole last stream and causing you to end it. No acknowledgement, by the way. You can't comment on any of these things, of course, because if you ignore it, it'll go away, right? This is your legacy, Crystal Dynamics. Soon, we'll get back to you. We're aware of that bug. It's fixed, but not really. So if I may get this straight, you acknowledge someone as a shitposter, a troll on the internet, and you decide to try to appeal 
to their better nature, telling them to consider the human being as if your unappealing rape of the Marvel property didn't charge human beings for an unfinished and barely functional product that over a year later still running like this, literally silent in the midst of the lie that you told, but you shift the goalpost. Because y'all the victim, right? What's really crazy though, is you're supposedly intelligent. You recognize this as a troll, but you chose to feed them. So you can shout, oh my god, look what we go through. Does this community coordinator think that the non-existent Megan Marie is too stupid to grasp who she represents on stage? We all respect her intelligence enough for that. None of us condone harassment. She represents Crystal Dynamics. The way that you represent Crystal Dynamics when you slide into people's DMs to shame and blame because you triggered by a name. That's the edgiest part about Avengers Hater account. You're the community coordinator and I've made like a hundred Marvel videos now. So you know it's not a joke when I ask, who are you? And what, as it pertains to the community, have you coordinated outside of your own foot in your mouth? Your train wreck of a game and your pathetic and unprofessional studio will not continue to accuse, blame, shame, block, and ignore fans and players that pay you via support of your defective product. You tricked people into buying with promises that remain unfulfilled and blatant lies. You milquetoast motherfuckers are free to whatever passive-aggressive snark and butthurt pity parties you want to host on your personal Twitters. But when you engage with the player base who is justifiably frustrated with your, uh, what's the word I'm looking for, lie? <laughs> Y'all don't hit it and quit it either. It's habitually showing everybody how much worse you can be in just about every aspect, man. If processing who you represent is too difficult, you are the problem. To everyone listening to this, I don't care who you are, comment on this video. Tell me how you feel about this, about this game, about Crystal Dynamics. My purpose with the Avengers content was to chronicle everything surrounding the game because I could sense it going bad. And I still have that sense. I feel like this is only the beginning. Former Defenders, I'm sorry. I'm sorry that the truth hurts, but you're all beta testers. And to the disgusting crystal dynamics that's been trying to sweep any and all things, even neutral, under the rug, the fact is you being a non-consensual beta tester just makes it hotter to them. The Defenders will soon be singing this game's praises again, but you've perma-pissed off your most devout, damn near religious supporters. They've sworn off supporting you. I hope it was worth it. Megan came out of cryo like Master Chief 11 months after the last time the community saw her. I once again do not and would never condone harassment or hostile actions towards any member of any team. I, in fact, urge you to stay away from these people, some of whom are so unhinged in their insecurity that they are lashing out. The last time Crystal Dynamics focused on somebody's mean words instead of the tsunami of articulate and constructive criticism, people realize that they get more attention when they meme and shitpost because it triggers these people and they make them more relevant by putting them on blast trying to do the oh look how awful it is for me thing. Avengers hater is more powerful than the in-game builds that you keep nerfing Crystal Dynamics. Damn. Which y'all gonna play endgame with now? Oh wait. There is no end game. I'll leave you with what I said the last time y'all was playing victim, man. The community sees through you, though. And we kind of just want you to just stop. Crystal Dynamics, I have two questions to add to the pile of shit you've been ignoring. Is it internally understood that silence on what is being worked on further hurts profits by reinforcing speculation that support may not last? Is it internally understood that publicly highlighting toxicity as why you take breaks from your game's largest community reinforces negative behavior and ignores the respectfully articulated feedback from those that actually deserved attention? 